is up guys, it's your boy Ultra Doge and today we're going to be discussing Daisy standalone and basically all the updates and weapons we're going to be getting in the near future in this game. Uh, this is probably going to be a little more of a structured and maybe professional uh, video compared to my normal ones just because it keeps the video shorter and basically there's less just mumbling and ribbly rabbling and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into this. Alright guys, so for those few of you who do not know what Daisy is, it started out as a mod for Arma 2, which has now broke off into its own standalone game. Uh, the idea behind that was just basically to allow the creators to customise and add a little more to the game and make it how they want. Uh, when it was a mod for Arma 2, it was basically it just added in some survival features a little more and added zombies. It basically made this super fun zombie survival game. But uh, what we're going to be discussing right now is the new guns and things we're going to be getting in Daisy standalone. Uh, as of now, there are only four firearms in the game. Uh, one assault rifle, the M4A1. One bolt action rifle, the Mosin Nagin. I think I pronounced that right. It's a little hard to pronounce. Um, and two handguns, the Magnum 357 and the FNX45. Uh, we're all pretty familiar with these. Uh, so yeah, we, we know about those, but we're going to get into the new weapons we're getting very soon in the future. Looking forward to these, so let's talk about those. Alright guys, so as of now there actually are a few confirmed uh, firearms to be added to the game. And those are um, a new shotgun, the Ramington 870, which will possibly be added by the time I actually put this video up. Uh, other confirmed firearms to be added are a new shotgun, the IZH-43, also confirmed are two semi-automatic rifles, the Ruger 1022 and the SKS, as well as one new pistol, the CZ. So let's have a brief look at each of these uh, new weapons. Let's start with the Remington. The Remington 870 is a US pump action shotgun used all over the world by law enforcement and military organizations. It's one of the best selling shotguns in history, so that's pretty cool. The Remington handles like pretty much any pump action shotgun and will surely be very effective at close range. Uh, now on to the semi-automatic rifles. Starting with the Ruger 1022, it's a semi-automatic rifle which is said to have a low recoil and expensive rounds. There are no confirmed weapon attachments for this gun yet. However, we can assume we'll probably have an ACOG sight and an iron sight, which will be compatible with the gun. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's the Ruger. Now on to the SKS. The SKS is a self-loading caravan, which is magazine-fed and is gas-operated. Uh, the SKS is fed from the integral 10-round magazine, which could be loaded from the top through the open bolt by loose cartridges or by using special 10-round stripper clips. Uh, in general, the SKS is an excellent all-round weapon that offers slightly longer range and better accuracy than the AK-47. Um, uh, but for military use, it lacks the magazine capacity and selective fire capabilities. The only confirmed attachment uh, as of now for this gun is the SKS bayonet, but I'm sure there'll be more. Alright, now on to the IZH-43. This shotgun has a sharp barrel and is a classic side-by-side -side hunting shotgun. It is produced by a Russian firearms manufacturer and its excellent balance ensures convenient and quick aiming. Uh, a sawed-off version of this is also confirmed, so that's pretty awesome. Alright guys, last but not least is the new pistol, the CZ. Uh, the CZ pistol is a powerful semi-automatic pistol made in the Czech Republic. Uh, it's popular throughout the world and known for its quality and versatility. It's unclear at this point which attachments will be compatible with the CZ pistol, if any. So, that is all the guns. We've talked about them a little bit and we can pretty much expect most of these in the near future um, as they are confirmed. So, looking forward to seeing these guns. Uh, now we're going to talk about a few... Uh, a uh, few weapons which aren't actually firearms, which we should be seeing pretty soon. Alright guys, now on to a weapon which isn't actually a firearm, but nonetheless is still a kick-ass weapon that I'm looking forward to seeing in the game. So that weapon will be the compound crossbow. Yeah, crossbow. Pretty awesome, right? So the crossbow is an incredibly effective, uh, uh, silent and powerful weapon. Its reusable ammunition makes it the perfect post-apocalyptic weapon, however, it is considerably underused in the Daisy mod. We have to wait and find out which attachments will be compatible with the crossbow on the alpha release, however, we expect some form of hunting scope to be one of them. So guys, that is all the things that are definitely confirmed to be added into the game. One other epic thing uh, for hand-to-hand -hand beastly combat, which would be pretty cool to see, is the chainsaw. So some people are rumoured to have the chainsaw already as if it's already in the game. I don't know, I haven't come across it. If any of you guys have any news or any info on the, the chainsaw, 
Let me know down in the comments, that'd be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, the chainsaw, it seems, it seems it will be, uh, it seems like it would be added as a pretty popular zombie apocalypse weapon, it's pretty kick-ass, but, um, at the same time, it may actually be sort of an, a, a novelty, because after using it for a while, it'd be pretty, pretty loud, it'd be a loud weapon, it would track bandits, you'd have to fuel it up, it'd be heavy and probably slow, so overall, the chainsaw probably really wouldn't be that used when it is added, but it'd be pretty fun. For a little bit of messing around, but overall, I don't think it would actually be used that much. So that's a little bit of ribbly rabbly about the chainsaw, and wow, I spoke really fast this whole video, but want to keep it going, want to keep it interesting, don't want to be boring, just be like, hey guys, we're going to talk about guns. <sighs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, I would definitely appreciate a like, as a lot more effort's gone into this video than, say, another video, because if I had to sort of script it out and put in bulletin points, and basically just a lot more effort and all that. I've already said that, but yeah. See, I'm really rambling now. This is what I normally do. God damn it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hold the doge out. Click here for my previous video. And click over here for my next video. Click one. Click one now.